When we had last left Team Watcher, they were at the epicenter of a meeting of the Sangretta Mi Compresa. I think that that was it, right? But nonetheless, all of these very important figureheads were called together to meet as part of the Valian Trading Company inside of their headquarters in the Deadfire. The matter to discuss was the work of Director Castol, following the wild ass events of at the uh, at Flaunalet's Spire teleportation machine. Despite the machine having some results, they decided to throw out uh, old Director Castol and have him replaced by his subordinate. Uh, <laughs> his subordinate. I forgot her name. <laughs> it had an A in it. <laughs> But nonetheless, she was there and he was quite upset. He was also sent off to none other than the Living Lands to do work there. Would he show up again? Probably not. But maybe. Maybe. Nonetheless, Team Watcher made their way from the VTC after that wild-ass bit of intrigue. And we're now ready for a little bit more intrigue. But of perhaps a less subtle nature. Up with the Principe Sen Petrena. This is Pillars of Eternity 2, Deadfire. Welcome back. Let us unhide that and be on our way. Let's see, we need to, you know what? We can just exit from here, can't we? From the road east. It has been a freaking while, hasn't it? Jeez. Part of me was debating doing the mega bosses first. I don't know before we went over to... Oh man, we <laughs> finished up that opening just in time for it to begin raining like crazy. Okay. Let's see. Oh shit, before we head out, let's check our ship supplies. How are we looking? Ooh, we could use some more water. Holy shit. Yeah, let's buy up some water here. Oh, whoops. Over here on the map screen. There we go. Good. Now, let's get this water. All right. Cool. Let's buy that. Actually, you know what? How much can I just buy? Five hundo? Let's do it. Add it on to the six. Why not? We've got so much money, don't we? Let's see. In fact, we can sell off some of these. All that. I don't think we'll go through all of our inventory here, but... A fair bit of it. There we are, because we don't, we don't really have a need for any of these items now at this point. Right? Okay. There we are. We'll just get rid of these big stacks. It seems like a good bet. There we are. Good. And... I think that's all of the majority, right? All of the big stacks of shit. I think so. Okay, good. Man, at like half a fucking million gold. Jeez. Holy shit. All right. Let us leave the city by sea. There we go. Good. We ended up, uh, really <laughs> making a lot of fucking money, huh? <laughs> yeah, I think even we're ending this with even more money than in the first game, right? despite having, like, a humongous estate to ourselves. How much money has gone through our fingers in this game relative to how much money has gone through our fingers in the first one? I feel like more here, but maybe it's just because we have, we're ending with more. Ooh, look. You received a message from Palagina. Let's read it. Huh. Jeez, should we read this while, um, <laughs> while this is going on? Palagina May Ray. Frerma Juan do Frermas me consuelas to the Watcher of Cadnua, lately of Nekataka. Ooh, shit. Oh my god! Oh my god, this is a nightmare scenario. Wow, she didn't even say anything! This is a nightmare scenario! <laughs> Everyone is singing right now. Jeez. What did we do? We even tried to fight for the director Castol. 
Oh my god, what a nightmare! I regret to inform you that due to your recent hostile actions toward the Valian Trading Company, I am obligated to return to my superiors and give them a full accounting of our time together. I will not be returning. If you have any concerns or complaints about my service, please direct them to the Duchess Spirento. Oh my god, no! What happened to all of her shit? Let's see. I think we got it. Right? Isn't this some of it? I think so. Huh. Let's see. We'll definitely know if her shield and, like, mode wear are there. Let's see. Oh my god, she took all of our shit with her, too. Holy fuck! Did I just miss, like, a bit of conversation with her? Let's go back a bit here. Because there was no fourth warning whatsoever with that. Let's see. Let's go over here. Good. Jeez! That's really bad for us. <laughs> Especially since she took all of our shit. Oh my god. What? Holy fuck. All right. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, there's nothing. I am ready. Let's see. What if we try Watcher. and talk to her? She nods in your direction. You only have to ask. Huh. What the fuck has happened? Why? <laughs> there was no conversation with her. What? Oh my god. This is like when fucking what's-her-name dies in Final Fantasy. Holy shit. Because <laughs> she's, she's literally our, like, main fucking healer. Holy hell. Oh, this is really a nightmare scenario. What the fuck do we do? Oh my god, dude. Jeez. Can I get back in there? Hmm. Let's see. What was the hostility? What, what, what was my hostility? There was no hostility. <laughs> oh, God. Part of me is tempted to keep this, right? Part of me is tempted to continue playing in this doomed world. Oh, my God. Yo. Holy shit. Let's do a quick save here. Let's see. Can we, like, speak to one of them? Hmm. Because what, what is even our reputation with the Principi? Is it not really good? Let's see. Where are they? They're here. Yeah, or with the Valian Trading Company, I should say. Yeah, we have a five-tier rep with them. The only people who we've pissed off are the Hoana, and they're not even, like, super mad. Yo, and Palgina's happy with us as well. What the fuck? Oh my god. Eh? Sure. Surely this is some sort of funny joke. Why? We didn't even get any alert. Is this like a bug? Have we experienced some wild ass bug? Oh my god. I'm like in complete denial. Because with, with Maya, a lot of that made sense, right? And there was that whole big conversation. I would have assumed when anyone would want to leave the party, they would do similar uh, actions, right? Let's see The here. Valiant Trading Company has no further need of you, Watcher. Is it because I decided not to work with them? Was that it? They didn't seem that mad. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, we might need to go back and load through that. Jeez. Man, man, man. What a butt suck. Huh. Because even if we go with, um... If we go over to the Hazanui and turn down or decline the Hazanui Karu, we don't have a bad interaction with Maya, right? Yeah, what even was it that spurred on... Maya's interaction, I forget. Was it what occurred at the Spire? Huh. Yo, this is terrible. 
<laughs> this is really bad. Hmm. Jeez, jeez, jeez. All right. Let's do a quick save and see if it fucking happens again. Holy shit, I'm like in complete shock and dismay. What a fresh hell. It, the only thing I could think of is because I declined to work with them, right? Which is wild. Does that mean that Palogina won't accompany you on anything? Like you have to side with the VTC when given the option or else she departs? Holy shit. Okay. Let us head on out by sea. Or here, let's buy some supplies just in case. All right. Let's get 500. Wonderful. Did I like sell off her favorite shirt or something? What the fuck happened? All right, by sea. Are we going to get it again? Holy shit. I can't believe that. Yo. Just with no warning ahead of time. Look, she's here one minute. Look, I'm gonna quick save while she's still in the group. Are we about to get... Yo! Holy shit! Yo, what the fuck? Should we go back through all of that and just not complete that quest? Huh. Oh my god, I think I'm about to, like, pause this and go look it up. <laughs> Jeez. Huh. Okay, this song is actually a lot more fitting. <laughs> Jeez, man. Is that, like, a permanent thing? That seemed permanent, right? Because we chose not to work with the VTC? Oh my god. Holy shit. Huh. You know what? This this was meant to happen. This was meant to happen. It's a tragic, horrific moment, but it was meant to happen. Oh my god. Here, let's at least quick load. <laughs> and uh and take the stuff off of her, right? That way we can, I don't know, <laughs> give it to Jody or something. <gasps> Yo! Who else do we have that we could have as support? Oh fuck. Oh my god, that is so bad, dude. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Let us take all of this stuff off. You know what? This is the terrible, fucked up world we live in, I guess. Jesus Christ. We're sticking with this. Look, did you see that betrayal got sucked up into us, but... We did not get her weapons and stuff, did we? Weird. Does that mean that she comes back at some point? I have no idea. Huh. Here, let's at least give her some kind of outfit. Jeez. <laughs> and... Some kind of weapon. Right. There you go. You got Rob Palagina, I guess, in a way. Okay. Good. Okay. Yeah, what the fuck? Palagina's farewell. I will not be returning, no. Oh my god. Yo, I feel like we fucked up so bad. Oh, that's really not great. That's real bad, dude. All right. <laughs> Jeez, we're living with it. All right, as much as I really would love to load this, we, sh we should just fucking buckle up and live with it. We're toward the end of the game anyway. Oh my god. I mean, worst case, if we need a healer like Palagina, we can recreate a Palagina like Paladin to heal for us, right? But it's not her. Jesus Christ. What a fucking nightmare. 
Here, let's change our party around, I guess. Who do we want to heal for us? We've got, um... Constantine, he's a barbarian and a chanter. That is pretty useful. She's a brawler. Shit, I don't even know what some of these multi-classes are. Hmm. What is Fasina? Maybe we have Fasina with us. Right? Or a celebrant. What is a celebrant? Oh, we should hang out with this dude, huh? With Reka. Yo, yeah, we should. Okay. Well, <laughs> there it is. My god. How fucking bad. Jeez. Let's <laughs> let's check our fucking log. Good god, man. What a nightmare. <laughs> oh my god, I'm in such shock. I'm so fucking stupefied by that shit. All right. Honor among thieves. Let's see. What if we end up having to have some terrible, like, bargaining gambit with... <laughs> with, uh, the Principe even siding with Aldi's? Aldi's is like, oh, yeah, sure. Uh, we'll, we'll do all sorts of good stuff, but... Remember that weird gore idol? That's right. <laughs> That's finally coming into play, and uh-oh, suddenly Seraphin is out, too. Christ. Oh, my God. I'm so in shock. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, I've received a letter from Ferrante. He has summoned the Council of Captains to Balefire Beacon in Dunnage and has asked me to meet him there as soon as possible. All right. So we need to go to Crookspur, Spur, right? Oh, man. I feel like I'm making such a grave fucking error. <laughs> There we are. Jeez. Oh my god. Part of me is also in shock that I'm not loading this. Part of me is in shock by that just as well. Oh no wait, it's not Crookspur. Look, I'm so I'm so in shock I'm not even thinking right. Am I? Good god, man. Either way, I guess at least by now Reika should uh, be able to speak a Deeran. And we should be able to understand them. Okay, we need to go over to... <laughs> Man, to Dunnage, right? Well, shit, I don't even know. Dunnage, right? Yeah, Dunnage. All right. My God. That is... That's so terrible. What a wild-ass thing that's occurred. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. All right, Balefire Beacon. There we go. Good. What does Reika even do? I don't. I don't even know. Probably doesn't fucking heal me for like a million points. Jesus. Oh great, we're already getting started. What other horrific shit's gonna happen? I've been loyal to you a long time, Ferrante, but I cannot abide this. Over here, my friend. All right, what terrible shit is he gonna get up to? Hmm, what if what if Seraphin is like so loyal to Ferrante that when we go to backstab Ferrante, well, no, because why would he be? Because we've shown Seraphin that Captain Ferrante is in cahoots with fucking slavers, and he hated that. Yeah, I think Seraphin will stick with us. Diverus, is it settled now? I do not like having my hand forced by some rogue god. That is just Fasina's voice actress. <laughs> that is just Fasina. <laughs> She's even wearing purple. Come on, that is just Fasina in some sort of wizard's transmutation guile. <laughs> Indeed, the vote has been cast. There can be no dispute. The trader Aldis will hang. Oh, shit. Your vote of confidence is appreciated, my Consuelo. Rest assured, you have made the right decision. The Black Pox sees we have. What a fucking farce. Mark my words, Councilman. Your souls will be damned for this scheme. The captain rubs the handle of her gun, but wisely doesn't draw it. Oh, right. I remember her in the lower levels of Nekataka, right? Do not forget your promise, Furante. 
With Eldis out of the way, you will sail us to Ukaizo, well before the Huana, the Valen Trading Company, or any others can plunder it. The god will lead us there, and the floating hangman will navigate the storms. Ferrante nods at the two council members before noticing you. Watcher, your timing is impeccable as always. The highest ranking member of the Council of Captains tugs the frilled ends of his sleeves before offering you a charming smile. We have just concluded a vote of phenomenal importance. Blast this! You can outvote me, but you can't make me stay and watch. Man, are we gonna have to gun them down? Mad Morena spits at the foot of her chair before storming away. One of our Consuelo members, Captain Aldis, has been charged and found guilty of those crimes, punishable by death. He clears his throat beneath your scrutiny. Which one's punishable by death? And those crimes would be... Let's hear out what all the crimes are. Defiance. On several past occasions, Aldis has willfully dismissed the mandates of the Consuelo. He ticks the count on his finger. So she's rebellious. What pirate isn't? Oh, there is more. Ferrante raises a second finger, adding to the list of crimes. Negligence. Too often, Aldis has outright neglected her responsibilities to the Consuelo. When a meeting is called, the presence of all members is required. We just have to give this guy shit every time, right? In other words, she didn't come running when you called. He grins sharkishly, a third finger held in the air. Excessive cruelty. Aldis and her new bloods often commit extreme violence in pursuit of financial gain. This drives our foes to take harsher measures against us. Jeez, what does she do? Huh. Or you're just too weak to handle the Valian Trading Company's ship hunters. The captain huffs out a heated breath. A fourth finger joins the others. Sedition, which you witnessed firsthand when Aldis negotiated with our enemies without the consent of the Consuelo. She has single-handedly endeavored to spark a civil war within the Principi on multiple occasions. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. Huh. Let's let's try and let's see what happens if we play dumb. I'm down for either of these. So I, I like being like fair enough, but that makes it seem like we're uh, we're throwing her under the bus too. When rather I'd be I'd want to be complicit with her. I don't know what you're talking about. His eyes narrow, but rather than argue, he continues on. And, worst of all, he waggles his thumb. Betrayal. Aldis sacrificed an entire crew of Principi in an ill-fated attempt to lure out the floating hangman so that she might captain it. This Consuelo session is now concluded. Watcher, might I have a word with you in confidence? What happened that Margran's teeth changes everything? We must acquire the floating hangman if we've any hope to reach Ukaizo before Aeothus destroys everything. Which brings me to my current problem. Somehow, Aldis has uncovered a means to summon the floating hangman, but she is hunkered within her stronghold of Fort Deadlight. Myself and the others of the Consuelo must lay siege to get to her. However, you have a means of entry to the fortress. His eyes narrow, ruthless, calculating. I need what she knows before I can hang her. Obtain it for me, and I will grant you her seat on the Consuelo. Jesus Christ. Hmm. I'll talk to her. Attack. I'd say I'm sorry it's come to this, but that'd be a lie. I'll see what I can do. I kind of like the idea of leaving him alive to see what the fuck happens. Huh. Let's see. I'll talk to her. Sail to Fort Deadlight and seize the answers which Aldis has secreted for her own gain. All right. Oh, look. What's this? I hear they are calling a meeting of the Consuelo Me Casitas. Or Casitas. Let's see, can we talk to these other captains? Hanging a Consuelo member is such an unfortunate affair. Captain Mare Trevisilo. Leave it to the new bloods to betray each other. And 
Oh, you're just a marauder. Okay. All right, fair enough. Let's see. Who was the other one? I forget. Yeah, who's the who are the other members of the Consuelo? There's Mad Morena, Aldis, myself. But I took the place of what's his name that we killed from the beginning. So who would who would be the fifth one? that's missing who would be in this chair or whatever hmm did we ever meet another one i'm not sure okay let's get on out of here should we check in on reika can we speak to him yet he smiles his eyes bright ask please oh there we go he gives you a slight nod and smiles you learned a and quickly should it be a challenge he looks at you quizzically, head tilted to the side. Genuine amusement wrinkles his brow. Yeah, that's that's a good point. Are there any languages in the real world that that were like created with a specific forethought of making it like incredibly simple to learn? Does that exist? Cuz I know like the thing with um with English at least is everyone says it's one of the more difficult languages to learn because there's so many weird ass rules to it, right? I'm sure there must be tougher languages to learn, but um, it's definitely not among the easier ones, right? Or so I've heard. I'm not sure. And there's definitely easier languages than English to learn, but are there any that were specifically pieced together with the idea of making it very simple to pick up? Huh. Something to consider. All right, continue. Lipasalis, my home. It is a big city, ta? He spreads his arms wide and grins. Many people speak many languages. That is Nujin, normal. A sly smile pulls at the corner of his mouth. Whether he's being entirely serious isn't immediately clear. Gives strange tablet to Reika. Oh shit. Hey, wow, we can actually give it to him to have him translate it? Huh. I remember, where did we even pick this up at? I remember picking it up and, like, even positing the idea that, hey, isn't this in the language that um, Reika speaks? All right, hey, I found something written in a language I don't know. Do you recognize it? Wasn't this in the Forgotten Sanctum in, like, one of the libraries? Cool. He gingerly takes the tablet from you and unwraps the leather cover. His eyebrows shoot up in astonishment. This is in Seki, my language. I can read this. He bounces on his heels, excited. His uh, his accent is like um, real world, like um, Eastern European, isn't it? It sounds that way. Well, don't keep me in suspense. What's it say? Uh, a moment, please. Let me read. He shoes you off with a wave of his hand. His, <laughs> his eyes brighten as they scan the text. When he reaches the bottom, he bursts into delighted laughter. Ah, this is a treasure. You have found a very sacred document, Watcher. What? What is this, like some kind of porn? Uh, here, I will read some in your adirin. He clears his throat and strains his shoulders standing with a bit more formality than before. Prince of the heavens shall be fed only young grasses grown on the hills of Lipasalis. He shall be curried morning and night with a brush made of the bristles of boars fed on golden root. <laughs> this is about a horse, isn't it? That doesn't sound like a sacred document to me. Wow, that's really something. Raise an eyebrow in question. <laughs> Let's do this. Insight check of only two. This is about a horse, isn't it? It is a bill of sale for a horse, in truth. A very special horse. He bites his lip to stop from grinning. I don't even know if our watcher knows how to, uh, how to ride a horse, right? Certainly we can captain a ship and pilot it or... What do you, what do you even say? Steer? Yeah, you steer a ship. You want us to read the rest? Uh, please be my guest. Hold on, I'm still coming to terms with the fact that I've been carrying around a huge rock about a horse. <laughs> yeah, sure, read me the rest. He shall be given to only the handsomest of mares, of the most feisty temperament, 
for he grows bored unless challenged. And when he is sad, he shall have in his ear whispered only the sweetest praise. There is more, but that was the best part. A sly grin. Uh, a sly grins. Oh, no, it's a typo. A sly grin spreads slowly across his face. Hey, uh, how'd your ship sink? His eyes flit away from yours, and he hesitates. For a moment, unsure if this is a topic he wants to discuss. Then he takes a deep breath, purses his lips, and meets your eyes again, this time with intent. And there was a storm. Clouds black like night and high as the stars. We thought God would protect us. His hands, usually restless and expressive, hang still at his sides. That's very interesting, that sentence right there. Have we met any other monotheistic cultures in this game? I don't think so. I think every single culture that we've encountered has been polytheistic, right? I think so, yeah. Now that I'm, I was thinking of like Zorops and shit, but don't Zorops, they worship dragons and there's multiple dragons, right? Huh. Wild, okay. Uh, where were you headed? West. He gestures vaguely toward the horizon, frowning. No one has ever been west because of the storms, huh? But we were determined. Right. What were you planning to do out here? Ah, we came to teach. He grins. His tense shoulders fall, relieved to no longer be discussing the shipwreck. Teach what, exactly? Oh, he feels partially responsible for the wreck, I guess. Or maybe, maybe like survivor's guilt. Uh, teach what, exactly? Teach about God. Oh. He bounces back on his heels. You mean gods. It's plural. So you're a missionary, like Jody. Huh. I kind of want to say the first one, because he'll probably elaborate more on his meaning. But then also I kind of want to say the second one because we mention a companion by name. Hmm. Let's go with the first one, because I want him to elaborate more on, uh, like, their culture. You mean gods, it's plural. No, only God, huh? Eh, how to explain? His eyes take on a distant look, and his crack- and his cracks his- Oh, another typo. And he cracks his knuckles absently. Finally, he shrugs. I did not say I am a good teacher. You learn Seki. Maybe we talk more about God. He laughs. Well, teach what exactly? You don't seem like a teacher. Like, teach what exactly about God? Let's let's go with this. Teach what exactly? Teach about God. Okay, okay. We can ask this again. So you're a missionary like Jody? I do not know what uh, missionary is, but okay. <laughs> what a peculiar sentence. His eyes take on a distant look, and his and he cracks his knuckles absently. Finally, he shrugs. I did not say I am a good teacher. Oh, weird. You learn Seki. Maybe we talk more about God. Well, you don't seem like a teacher. Do I not? Fair enough. I jest. You are right. I am not a teacher. There was a... Sehash. And then I was put on the ship. We can discuss... Uh, later. You were going to teach in a place you'd never been to people who don't speak your language? I am a fast learner. Do you think my idea then is very bad? It cannot be as bad as Seraphim's. He opens his mouth and nonsense comes out. Oh, <laughs> uh, what did you do back home? I did nothing. That is how I was put on that ship. Maybe a building went on fire. Maybe many buildings. But that is the past. The future is more interesting, huh? He rubs at the back of his neck, an embarrassed flush coloring his ears. Well, that's enough for now. As you say. Man, we, we can ask him about a shitload of stuff. Tell me about your home. Where are you from? The edge of your map. He tries to stifle a playful grin and fails. A joke from Maya. Home. Home is Yezua. Beyond the storm. Somewhere. Will you go back to Yezua? Is that possible? Oh, I will go now. <laughs> Someday, 
sees Hunskiku. But there is still much to see here, I think. Are you far from your home, Watcher? Oh, cool. I'm surprised this isn't a... Yeah. I'm surprised this doesn't show reactivity. Weird. The Deadfire is my home, and I can't wait to leave it behind. I'm from the Deadfire, actually, and it's good to be home. Yeah, let's go with that. I am jealous. I do not like it here. <laughs> he cants his head to the side and smiles to hide the strength of feeling ben beneath his words. Uh, what do you miss about your home? A funny question. How to explain? He scrunches up his nose, bunching his freckles. I miss the wind. Hot and dry, it comes from the mountains. Shakes the doors. Covers Lipasalis in dust. And the desert. It is beyond the mountains. Red and wide. I still smell it sometimes. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a desert badlands. Huh. Yeah, wow. It, it really sounds like, um... Like... Like Western United States. Like, <laughs> like I would, I would hope that it would have, like, Wild West tropes and shit, right? He quiets a moment, blinking rapidly, but when he looks at you, w but when he looks at you next, he's smiling his usual carefree smile. I want to ask you something else. As you say. How do you like the dead fire? Apparently he hates it. I do not. But it is better with you. Aww. The scar across his mouth pulls his lips into a little, little quirk of a smile. How are you holding up? Ketahungisama. Huh. He trails off, not quite looking you in the eye. What do you think about our traveling companions? Who? Oh. Oh, let's ask about Palagina, even though she's not actually here. She reminds me of my old teacher. Do you think she would spar with me? He puts a freckled knuckle to his lips, considering. <sighs> but maybe I have enough scars. About Aloth? Always, he has a sour lemon face. Like an old man. <laughs> That's very funny. I like that a lot. <laughs> About a dare. A dare told me God stepped on your house? Your luck is maybe worse than mine. <laughs> Sly grin spreads across his face. About Maya. Her bird is mean. You see where he bit me? I like him. <laughs> he shows you a shallow, triangle-shaped cut in his forearm and beams. How about Seraphin? Where did he learn a Adirin? Not here, huh? <laughs> How about Takehu? Takehu showed me rice wine. Ugh, it is terrible. He screws his face up into an expression of intense disgust. You are out of rice wine, by the way. <laughs> How about, uh, he loves, he loves garbage. Is that why he likes it? Oh, yeah! Of course! He thinks that the bird is mean to him, and yet he likes- he likes a Ishii. He hates rice wine, and yet he drink- he drunk, like, the majority of it. He hates the dead fire, and yet he- he explicitly said a while back that he wanted to stay here and not try and even make an attempt to leave just yet, right? Alright, how about Jody? She poked me with her weapon once. She apologized for a week. I poked her with mine, and now we are even. <laughs> uh, the others. Who? Oh, wow. We can get our sidekicks in here, too. Holy shit. Uh, Constantine. He puts fire kelp in my soup when he thinks I am not looking. Why? But there are peppers much spicier in Yezua. I will get him back. Huh. I never took Constantine as much of a pranker. Huh. I definitely... He had some really funny, like, clever remarks at points, but I never... Huh. Yeah, I, I never called him to be someone like that. Not, not that I have anything against it or whatever. <laughs> it just... It, it never even occurred to me. All right, how about Fasina? I offered her a candied nut, and she took them all. She is like my sister. <laughs> how about Edwin? Ugh. <sighs> Creepy. A little shiver thrills up his spine, and he blanches back Fine, to the yes. others. He shrugs. Never mind, actually. As you turn away, you feel a slight tug on your sleeve. When you look back, you find Reika watching you 
with one eyebrow raised and the start of a mischievous grin on his lips. Can I ask you a question? Sure. We talk about the others. What do you think of me? Though he smiles in his usual playful way, a dark flush of concern climbs his throat. Oh, is he horny for me? <laughs> is that what he's saying? Well, no, maybe it's a culture thing, right? Let's see. You're fun. You're useful. You don't get in the way. That's all I care about. You're pain in the ass. I don't like you. I don't have an opinion on you. Yeah, so far you're fun. You cog? Take me home and I will show you fun. Oh, he's horny for me, all right. <laughs> he winks. That's all for now. He turns his hands, palm up, and gestures forward, sending you off. All right. No problem. Oh, man. But alas, what are his classes again? He's a brawler? What even is that? Fighter mixed with a fighter and rogue. Oh, no, wait. That's me. <laughs> Fighter and monk. Oh. Can monks heal? Ah. Hmm. Probably they could, right? Well, no. Maybe I'm just thinking of World of Warcraft. Yeah, I think uh, we need to get into like a, a CRPG mindset where monks do not heal, right? Okay. Fair enough. Man, what the fuck are we going to do? <laughs> oh my god, that's so bad that Palagina left. <laughs> that is so fucking bad. You are. Okay, let's head on out. Let's go by sea. There we are. Good. And it's so weird that it didn't give us all of our stuff back when she left. That almost makes it feel like she will come back? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I'm, I'm just in fucking denial is what it is. Okay. Let's have... I guess let's get Jody back. We need some kind of healing, right? We need support. There we go. Okay. Now let's head on over for Fort Deadlight, right? Good God. I still can't get over Palagina leaving like that. Without any forewarning or whatever. Jeez, man. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Well, did we have an opportunity to actually... Not speak with What's-Her-Butt at the end? After we finished up everything there? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll have to check that. I am so tempted, like, after this video to... Reload that and just go through the same motions again. Except for that one part. Oh man, I might do that. I'm not sure. Let's see here. Hmm. You know what? Maybe I will. Maybe we'll save right here. We'll end it. And I'll, I'll see how it plays out. If I can get Palagina to not fucking leave the group. Because <laughs> holy shit! Good god. Yeah. I'd rather go, like, independent. Got it. <laughs> it's like, right? Fuck me. Lost another crew to the floating hangman. We did. Oh, man! Yo! Is that what they meant the whole fucking time? Because didn't Ferrante said... Ferrante said to us that Aldi sacrificed an entire ship crew. Right? Is that... Is that how she got any sort of um, contact with the floating hangman? Is that how the scan shit or the scan shit plays in? Because, of course, like the big thing of scan is that you have to like sacrifice in order to overcome whoever is shitty ahead of you, right? And that totally embodies this, right? Because Aldis is like this new up and coming pirate in the Consuelo, and Ferrante is a complete shithead. Works with slavers, totally uh, enables them in a major fucking way. So, of course, if she's going through Scan, she would have to do some weird fucked up thing in order to dethrone him. And is that sacrificing, like, ships full of pirates to the floating hangman? Because holy fuck. But how... 
here's a question as well before we move forward here. Is that... What, what is the, like, fucking ethics of that? What is the ethics if they decide to go on their own terms? If they decide to willingly sacrifice themselves? Jesus. Man. I guess we'll just have to see how it pans out with her, right? We'll just have to see if we can get more information. And what she'll ask of us. Because certainly I don't want to give her up to Ferrante. But now I've got doubts about whether or not I want to... Hang out with her? I don't know. It, it's really dependent on how it plays out, I suppose, right? Jeez. Also, still can't get over the Palagina situation. Holy fuck. Yeah, you know what? I'm committing to it. I'm going to load the prior save. And it'll be a lot quicker. It, it won't take, like, an hour or so, because we'll just skip through the dialogue that we've already heard, right? And I'll do this off camera, and I'll see if I can get it to where I complete the Sangretta meeting, but I don't speak with What's-Her-Butt at the end to where she's like, oh, so now I've got one last thing to ask of you, Watcher, and then I won't activate that. To where she asks me to go um, fuck with the RDC, right? We'll see if we can do that. Okay. When next we come back, maybe we'll have Palagina back? Maybe? I don't fucking know. Gosh, what a fucking... <laughs> it came out of nowhere, dude! With Maya, it was like night and day. Palagina just leaves me a fucking note at my under my pillow? Maya, there was like a whole like drawn-out conversation where she almost broke into tears. Good God, man. All right. Until next time, please take care of each other.